This part just jump across, don't jump too hard here. And now I'm not really sure. Do I go on the cannon? I would have thought so. Oh, I tried to go on the Cooper Trooper, but it didn't quite work. And now that's the boss. Oh my goodness. How on earth have I managed that? Okay, it doesn't matter. What's going on here? Well, I've got into an interesting state, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I think I might have to fall off. Let's try that again. Hey all, and welcome to part 8 of my Captain Toad and the Fragments of Time playthrough. Here I will be playing another 5 hopefully awesome levels. So here's the first one, The Fall of the Phoenix. Captain Toad and the Fragments of Time, World 8. Here we go, let's see how I get on with the stage. The Fall of the Phoenix, that's a nice title. Alright, so here we go at the stage. These 3D world levels all have quite a similar feel to them. So we'll see how I get on. Oh, it looks like some sort of propeller stage. Oh, okay, that's not how to do it, but at least I've taken out the piranha plant. So that should make it a little bit easier, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Right, into the clear pipe. Get that pink coin and then go back in this pipe? No, okay. Right, there must be another pipe or some way forward. Let's have a look. Nice, yeah, there's a gap there. Okay, go through that gap and then there's a second pink coin somewhere over there, as you can all see. Oh my goodness, I wasn't quite expecting that. Not sure what's happened here, but I think I'm still alive. Right, what have we got now? That should get me the second pink coin. Nice, I'm doing okay, and then something must open up up here, maybe? No. There's something... Oh. Right, I'm a little bit confused. What do I do now? I'm a bit lost. There must be something up here, no? Or do you have to make it to the next section without losing the propeller? Yeah, there's... Yeah, there. On-off blocks there. I'm not sure quite how to do this. They seem to be on the on, so to speak, so I can't get through. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Right, I think I see how to do it. You've got to get to the door before the thwomp hits the on-off switches. That's quite tricky. Took me a bit of time to think about that, but I think it's not done like that. That was a terrible attempt. This might take a bit of time. That's a lot harder than it looks. A lot harder than it looks. Right. No! Well, that's exactly how not to do it. This is quite hard, actually. You can try it as many times as you want. There might be some alternative method that I've not found yet, I guess, to doing that one part. Does seem quite hard, though. I'll work this out. Well, hopefully, anyway. Right, so. One. Two. Done like that. But you've got to do it before the thwomp hits the on-off switches. So you've got to be really quick. One. Two. Door. How? No, it's not working. Try again. One, two, in the door. You can't do it in time. How are you supposed to do that? Oh, man. Wait a sec. Can you stop the thwomp from going across? That's a good question. Hold on. 
I think it might be easier without the propeller. How close I was right well I'm not going to do this within the time limit but I'm close to making it to the door though as you can see right I think I'll start again at this point wait a sec no I thought you might be able to go back in the pipe and Oh, you can? Oh my goodness. I don't believe how stupid I am. Don't even... Oh. Well, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. I thought my method was way too difficult. Yeah, you just go back in the pipe. I can't believe that. This section as well, I would have thought you just go back in the pipe as well. Yep, nice and easy. I mean, I would have done it eventually by my method, but that's not how you're supposed to do it. That was slightly embarrassing, actually. But I've got to this section, and I'm taking hits. Yeah, you can't get another propeller, so I'm going to die now. There's nothing I can really do about it. Right, so this is how you do this section, now that I know how to do it. Take out the first piranha plant, lose the propeller. No, don't lose the propeller. Right, what you do is get the coin and then go back in the pipe rather than trying to do the section again. That works with the first section as well. Yeah, it would have been useful if the pipes sort of didn't go back to the section, so to speak. Like when you go in this pipe, I'll just do an example. Go in this pipe, and then because there's a pipe to the left, you think you have to do all of that again, but you don't. You just have to go back in the pipe, then progress to the next section. Anyway, let's progress. Oh, oh no, don't. Oh man, why is it? I want the propeller. I don't want to go up there yet. There we go, nice. Right, up we go. Or not up we go. Now I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Let's wait until. That's it, nice. And then, P-switch somewhere? No, I can get up there. I feel like I've done something wrong again, but I'm hoping you can go back in the pipe, which you can. I'm sure I've already done this section. It's the next section I died on. You have to be really careful as you only get the one propeller. I think I can do it though. Just be really careful, take your time. I can't see what's up there, nothing up there. The coin was in this pipe? Was it in this pipe? Yes, it was. Brilliant. Okay, we're there finally. It took me a very long time, but I've made it. Brilliant. Okay. This takes you all the way to the bottom, I would have thought. This section isn't exactly difficult. It's just I made an absolute mess of it, but never mind. Right, let's go in the door and see what this... Oh, no, don't go up the tree. Go in the door. That would be nice. Okay. Oh, it's auto skull. Auto skull with the propeller cap. Well, I think I may have failed already. Yes, I have, unfortunately. Okay, so let's learn this section. The P markers are there to tell you where to spin, I think. Oh, that was nice. The enemies got taken down by the piranha plant. No, not by the piranha plant, by the icicles, should I say. I don't know what I'm talking about. Probably you don't know either, but never mind. What about this section? You're yeah, not too difficult. I think we might be there. Almost. Go, go, go! Yes, nice! I didn't lose it. And this was a lot easier than the first section. Right, in the door. Nice, I think we're there. Let's grab the top of the flagpole. That was definitely an interesting stage. 
Tricky first section, much easier second section. I like how it focused on the propeller cap. I will give it a like. There we go. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, and here we go with the next stage, climbing the mountain. Ludwig wants his overdue payment, and now it's time for Toad to pay up. This is by Amosi. Amosi normally makes rather difficult levels, but I have been told the Captain Toad levels are not too difficult, so we will see how I get on. Let's play the stage. This should be interesting. Climbing the mountain. Standard and technical. All right, here we go. So just the chest at the start. Nothing looking too difficult so far, just a few enemies and a pipe. All right, what have we got here? Some nice platforming, all marked out. Nice, up we go. Oh, checkpoint already. That feels very early. Haven't really done anything yet. Uh oh, I, yeah, I see how to do that. I just messed it up. Let's try that again. So yeah, it's follow the markers basically. Hit that one, then hit that one. Nice. Then up we go. Just follow the markers basically. That's it, nice. I like how everything goes perfectly in position. I like how I nearly died. I only just clipped the corner there. There's a lot of enemies here, crikey. But I'm nearly there. That was quite easy, if I'm being honest. Is it about to get a lot harder, though? Here's the second checkpoint. All right, so some more mountain climbing. Follow the coins. And do I go left or right? I have to think about that. Okay, here we go. Nice one-up mushrooms there to collect before attempting this section. So I think the one on the right is actually just for the coin. If you do that, and then... Oh, crikey, you do have to get the coin. As then the spring sort of knocks the other one into position. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I didn't see a Goomba to jump onto. And this... This looks really difficult. It's probably not as hard as it looks. Just jump at the correct time. That would be embarrassing if I died here. It could happen. Lots of claws here. More platforming. There's the door. Nice. Right, and the pipe. We have... Ooh, even more mountains. There should be a number somewhere. Would have thought the number's coming up in this door? Let's see. Yeah, that's a good guess. Number seven! In the pipe like so. I like the artwork there. And there we go! Top of the flagpole stage completed. So I will say, that was relatively straightforward, actually. It's just jumping across on the enemies pretty much throughout the entire stage. Really liked that though. I love the way that was designed. I'll give it a like and put a quick stamp on it. There we go. I've gone with a good stuff. Let's move on. All right, and here we go. The next stage, Through the Fire and Flame. That reminds me of a certain Dragon Force song with the same title. Toad has been swallowed by the Phoenix. Can he claim the power of fire? That sounds pretty interesting. Let's give this a go. It's got quite a high clear rate on the stage as well. Let's go through the fire and flames. Or flame. All right, here we go. Let's see what sort of stage we have here. So this is inside the Phoenix, I would have thought. Oh, lava. Lava castle underwater. So this shouldn't be too difficult, I would have thought. Oh, what's happened here? I'm going to die. Or am I? What? What on earth is going on there? Why did I die? Okay, that's a rather peculiar start to the stage. I had no idea what happened there. It just turned to blue and then killed me. There's a bomb here. There must be... What? Oh, I see. You meant to destroy the bricks. Okay. I think I've got it now. 
So I destroyed the bricks. Oh, okay, I'm getting the 10 coins by the looks of it, as Toad wants to play with the claws. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's why there's big arrows pointing. Destroy that brick and then it won't block you. So I think you have to do that throughout the entire stage, maybe? Or just follow the arrows. That looks like a pretty good strategy. Right, doing okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's gonna... No, it's not. I'm taking a hit and there's not really much I could do about that as I was too slow. Yeah, I've got a bit of a problem now, haven't I? Maybe. There's coins here, though. Ah, yeah, I'm blocked. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Not much I can do from there, is there? Apart from try and go in the pipe. No, you do have to hit that block. Right, we'll try it again. Here we go. Get that mushroom and hit those blocks. The strategy is to try and sort of keep ahead of the auto scroll, I think. I was too slow last time, which is why I basically died. This part especially, you've got to be pretty quick. That's it. Knock it out of the way. I love the idea for this stage. It's totally unique to anything I have played before, if I'm being honest. It's not too difficult once you've learnt it as well. I'm doing okay. Get those 10 coins like so. Right, in that door. So is there a checkpoint? Yes, there is. This room looks really nice. It's a shame you can't get the fire flowers. What have we got in here? Well, more bricks to break. This looks quite a bit harder than the first section, but we shall see as I play it. Wait a sec. I think I was supposed to go underneath. Yeah. Then dodge that fireball nice and quickly. I'm still okay. I don't believe it. Right, I hit that block from here. I think I'm going to have problems now, though, as I'm a long way behind. Or am I? Or am I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm still okay. Right, there's the chest and the door. Not sure how I managed to get away with that, to be honest. There's the number three. And another checkpoint. Okay, so now we're onto more traditional platforming, so to speak. With a fire flower? Do I need the fire flower? I would have thought I do. Take out those piranha plants with it. And then, yeah, there's ice here. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult at all once I've got the concept behind the stage. Another really good stage. I love the idea behind this stage. Let's give that a like and go and write a stamp comment. I was looking for a red comment, but since the only red comment is a seriously one, I've put a wow on the stage instead. Right, let's move on. All oh, right, and here we go with Captain Toad's portrayal of Ludwig. Toad makes it through alive, he just needs to make it back down. 4% just under clear rate on the stage. 338 clears, so lots of clears. Let's give this a go and see how I get on with the stage. So here we go with the portrayal of Ludwig. Alright, so here's the start of the stage, a pretty standard start. Fire flower here. Right, I think it's going to be Fire Flower and Technical. Oh no, it's a Z stage, right. And you have to take out the Piranha Plants, I think. Do I need to Z there? I don't know. I don't think I did. At least I can learn the stage, even though I've taken a hit, which is kind of important. Yeah, and then you need to get to here, shoot your way through, and that takes you to the next section. Doesn't look too difficult. Right, let's get it on this attempt. Second attempt, that would be pretty impressive. Well, not really. It doesn't look that difficult. Impressive by my playing skills. Something like that, anyway. Right. So you don't need to spin for this one. You just need to jump across, then fire flower like that. Land on the marker. 
Nicely done, I think. There we go. There's the checkpoint. Now for this section here, I think it's probably going to be more of the same. Ah, oh, nice. And then get back to here. Get on the blocks. Take out the piranha plant like so. Then for this section... Oh, there's a door. Already? Nice. That didn't look too difficult. What about this? Follow the coins downwards. Oh no, I thought there'd be something there, but I didn't lose it. Not quite anyway. There's a pipe here. Right, go in the pipe. Right, so this section, another checkpoint. Looks like Zed spinning. Okay, oh, I missed it. How did I manage to miss that? That was a little bit unlucky, actually. A little bit unlucky. I'll get it on this attempt if I remember to actually spin jump. That would help, wouldn't it? Oh, crikey. Yeah, it says Zed there, yet I didn't spin jump. That was really clever. No. Okay, so this part just jump across. Don't jump too hard here. And now I'm not really sure. Do I go on the cannon? I would have thought so. Oh, I tried to go on the Cooper Trooper, but it didn't quite work. And now that's the boss. Oh my goodness. How on earth have I managed that? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's going on here? Well, I've got into an interesting state, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I think I might have to fall off. Let's try that again. Yeah, that was quite interesting. I'd already lost the power up, so I couldn't do it anyway, but... At least I've got to see that there's a boss fight coming up with this stage. Right, so go quickly, I think, is a good strategy. Then Zed your way across here. Oh, I see, I see. I think it sort of brings the enemy across. So basically you have to spin jump and then go on to the next part like so. Spin jump, move it across. Let's try this and see if I can do it. So here we go with the first part, then a Z spin, a Z spin twice, knocks it across. Doesn't knock it across again, but I think we may have done it. Just about. Nice, let's get in the door. Go in the door, go on. Before you take a hit. So there's a nine. Nice. And now... Do I just go in the door? I think so. Brilliant. Okay, there we go. Stage completed. Another really good stage. That final part looked a lot harder than it actually was. I like the way it cuts off just before Toad is about to drop off the bottom of the screen. Let's give that a like. A very good stage. Go and put a quick stamp on the stage as well. So just a standard nice comment this time around. Right, the final stage. Alright, and here we go with the final stage in this part of the playthrough. Ludwig's Last Symphony. It's time to defeat Ludwig and make this his ninth symphony. It's a team music stage. I've not seen that make a team before, but that gives an idea for what will be in the stage. This should be fun. It's a new style stage as well as all the last stages are. Let's see what we have. All right, so we have the silence effect with this stage as it's going to feature music, I would have thought. Let's go through the door and what have we got? Well, here's the music. I've already taken a hit though, so we're not going to hear too much of it, unfortunately. Right, we'll try that again. So you have to keep the... Oh, I didn't see the checkpoint here. Right. Oh no, he's not going fast enough through the icicles. And yeah, I kind of died. That's the music anyway. That's pretty cool. Right, fire through down here. I think that's the way to do it. Nice. I thought there was ground there, but there's not. I see how to do that now, though. 
Let's get it on this attempt. Or not. That was embarrassing. I missed completely. Let's try this again. It's not as easy as it looks. Probably going to be the toughest stage out of the five. But we shall see as I progress with it. Right. We're doing okay. Doing okay. I'm at the back of the screen, but I'm not defeated yet. I'm not defeated. Keep going. Crikey. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, but I've somehow made it to the pipe. I don't know how I managed to do that. That was quite tough. We have a second section now. Yeah, you do have to ground pound. I'm at the back of the... Okay, I've taken a hit, so let's try this again and hopefully not take a hit. All right, here we go. So keep the fire flower throughout the stage and follow the arrows, I would have thought. I've done exactly the same mistake again. I don't know why that happened. I think you have to do a backwards sort of ground pound there to get through that icicle. Okay, at least I'm seeing the stage though. That's the important part. Holding down, that's it. I wasn't holding him down for long enough. Then something like that. Follow again through the icicles. Don't hit that spike. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. No, you're supposed to Z-spin, not to do a normal jump like I just did. That wasn't a bad effort, though. Let's see if I can make this a better attempt. That's it. Through those icicles. Nice. Don't hit that spike. Z, Z, Z. That's it, good. And then... Oh! Crush Ludwig at the end. And crush him again. Why not? Okay, so we have a two here. Is there anything above the two? Probably not. No, you can't even go over it. Right, what's in here? That's the end of the stage. Okay, so it's one of those stages that looked a lot harder than it actually was. I really liked that. I liked the way it flowed. Really good auto-scroll stage with music as well. There we go. Let's give that a like. I'll go and write a stamp as well. There we go. I'm running out of stamps to use, so I've gone with a standard sort of beat it. And there we go. All right, and that marks the end of this part of the playthrough. I hope you enjoyed watching those stages. They were really fun stages, so I highly recommend checking these out for yourselves if you liked the look of them. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. I've included the previous part of this playthrough on the screen, plus a playlist. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.